So yeah, the book today is mine. Yeah, I thought what better place to start than to absolutely destroy my own work. I just really wanted to do a book that was kind of like focused on some of the highlights of the city before the big 2008 capital culture event. So I thought, uh, I thought this would be nice. A lot of it is, um, a lot of it is my classic HDR style, the very heavy processing look that I used to go for. It's not as bad as I remember, so that's it. That's got to be a plus. Let's put that central, central-ish. <laughs> I mean, God, how pretentious is this? My own work, that's a classic, yeah. I might as well have like balloons and confetti and stuff going off. Uh, I mean, technically, it's a classic for me, sort of. Um, it was published in um, some big competition. I think I sort of uh, beat 20 odd thousand people to get into this competition. So at the time for me, this was a, a classic photo. I mean, the modern contemporary me, um, the person that's talking, this, this guy here, um, I wouldn't go for uh, such strong angles. I'd probably try and be more precise and correct the verticals and get everything just, you know, perfect. It's quite interesting actually, I haven't looked through this book in a long time. You know, you kind of don't really go back to your old work, it's kind of like, oh god, look how bad these pictures were, look how young and innocent I was. It's not bad. I was young. Ooh, yeah. That classic HDR look. I mean, HDR, if you don't know, is supposed to bring out the details so you can shoot into the, the sun and you can bring out the details in the foreground so it's not as silhouette as like maybe that picture. Of course, what would happen is I would bring out a nice amount of details and then throw loads of processing at it, and, you know, heavy vignetting and really strong contrast. So you still lose a lot of detail and things. I did sort of settle down in my later years with HDR to just kind of use it to rescue details and things without really going to town. Obviously that's the iconic view. It was a very cool afternoon. Just perfect sunset, you know, clouds rolling in. That's the old ferry terminal down there. Christmas in the cathedral. So many people would comment and say like, oh wow, it looks like a drawing. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, you get people doing photorealistic drawings. Um, oh yeah, this is Liverpool one being made. So that's, that's Debenhams if you've been to Liverpool. I could just, I can never get this building to look not yellow. The problem is that you've got natural daylight coming in here and then the rest of it is all these yellowy lights and I could just never be happy with the colouring in it. Oh cool. Baltic Triangle area where I used to have a studio space which would just be kind of around there. Hey Museum of Liverpool being created. There's a wheel there now. That ship's gone. Bit of a shame. I think I still kind of like that picture. I think there's something about it. Something kind of old-timey, perhaps. That's the thing. Do you make a picture to be old-timey or do you make a picture to be contemporary? Don't know. Just can't see this view now. There's blocks in the way. I think it's, it has ruined the view. You know, just standing there and just looking at that. You know, now you can't really see it. It's just like, bleh. It's a bit of a shame. Hmm. Gritty HDR. I don't know. I think there's a level of naivete that you can see in these pictures to doing like really gritty uh, drama and everything. And I feel like the processing um, got in the way of what was really going on in the picture. There's too much of me in the picture rather than what's actually going on. 
and I felt like I was distracting people from what was really important in the work. So it's kind of why I stopped doing a lot of processing. I just wanted the content to speak for itself. If your pictures aren't good enough, you're not close enough, really close there, and you can't do that anymore. So that is a terrible review of my own work. I am kind of proud that it's out there. You know, it's kind of nice to have yeah, actually made a proper book. <laughs>